इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड मैन्युफैक्चर्ड एक्सपोर्ट्स इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन देखो क्या होता है लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस थिंग सो इट इज एज्यूम दैट अ कंट्री व्हिच इज लीस्ट डेवलप्ड दैट विल बी एग्रीकल्चरल कंट्री and as a country will go towards its process of development it will increase its manufacturing sector and then increase its service sector so whenever there will be industrialization that will take place mane jaise jaise ye manufacturing sector increase hoga it means that the country will be on the path of development right so industrialization is associated with high productivity and income and hallmark of modernization and national economic power to agar industrialization aayegi matlab aap machines use kar rahe ho you are using machines instead of using hand instead of using uh, more of labor you are using more of machines when there will be more machine there will be more productivity right you will be able to produce cheaper products you will be able to increase the demand of the product you will be able to employ more people on the machine so income of people will increase hai na jab aisa hoga to automatically there will be modernization right and when this will happen automatically the economic power of the country will increase the gdp of the country will increase industrialization is the main national priority for major countries with number of prominent success stories in asia तो देखा गया है कि जो जो कंट्री भी इंडस्ट्रियलाइज हुई थी विच एवर कंट्रीज स्टार्टेड द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन दो कंट्रीज वर द वन हुड सक्सेस स्टोरीज वो वो कंट्रीज थी जहां पे एशिया में सक्सेस देखा गया राइट लो मिडिल कंट्रीज एंड अपर मिडिल कंट्रीज एम टू इंक्रीज द शेयर ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन देयर नेशनल इनकम इसीलिए जो हमारा लो मिडिल इनकम कंट्रीज एंड अपर मिडिल इनकम कंट्रीज होते हैं दे एम दैट दे हैव टू लोअर द अमाउंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड दे हैव टू इंक्रीज द अमाउंट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर हाउ एवर इन मेनी कंट्रीज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हैज रिमेन कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन लो स्केल एक्टिविटीज तो अभी भी ये देखा जाता है कि जो एग्रीकल्चरल ओरिएंटेड कंट्रीज हैं the countries which have been focused on agriculture it has been seen that manufacturing has still remained concentrated and it is only used in very small low skilled activities basic activities but the difficult tasks are still being performed by labor and has not been replaced by machine abhi bhi manufacturing industry bahut low skill activities mein hi concentrated hai in the developing countries developing countries have higher share of employment and output in agriculture as compared to developed countries to kya dekha jata hai that jo bhi developing countries hoti hain they have more both employment and the share in gdp these are both more from the agricultural sector right in some low income countries more than टू थर्ड of population works in agriculture. तो अभी भी ऐसा है that in many countries 66% of population ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एग्रीकल्चर में ही काम कर रही है ऑन द अदर हैंड इन यूएस एंड यू के एग्रीकल्चर अकाउंट फॉर वन टू टू परसेंट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड इनकम सो यू आर सींग दैट हियर इट इज सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन और ये जो हमारे डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज हैं लाइक यूएस लाइक यूके दे ओनली हैव वन टू टू परसेंट कमिंग फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर बोथ इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड इनकम जब हम उनका एम्प्लॉयमेंट और इनकम को देखें तो सिर्फ एक से दो परसेंट ओनली वन टू टू परसेंट कम फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर लो प्रोडक्टिविटी इन एग्रीकल्चर इन द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज अच्छा तो ये भी देखा गया है कि नंबर वन नॉट ओनली दैट मोर पीपल आर एम्प्लॉयड इन एग्रीकल्चर ये तो है ही बट 
they have low productivity also. There is something which is called as disguised unemployment. Disguised means hidden, chupi hui. So for example, on a land, to grow something, kuch ugane ke liye, I only need 10 people. But there is a family of 15 people and all these 15 people are working on the same land. Even if I remove 5 people, to bhi wahi same kaam hoga. So these 5 people, they are called as disguised unemployed. Even when you take them out from the agricultural sector, the same work can be done. Same kaam ho sakta hai, even when they are removed from the agricultural sector. Then this is called as disguised unemployment. So, disguised unemployment also goes ahead and shows low productivity. Ye bhi low productivity ko hi reflect karta hai. And there are some examples. Madag uh, Madagascar. Uh, Madagascar has 82% of the men and women who are working in agriculture. But they're only contributing to 25% of the total GDP. Huh? So imagine 82%, mane almost ye sara workforce ka 82% log agriculture mein hai. Aur agar hum GDP ko four parts mein divide kar de, they are contributing to only one fourth of the GDP. Mane remaining 18% people, they are contributing to this three fourth of the GDP. Same with Indonesia. 41% of men and women are in agriculture and they're only contributing to 14% of the output. Again, showing that in agriculture, the productivity of people is less. Bohat sare log milke, bohat kam GDP mein contribution rakte. Right? In most countries, larger proportion of women work in agriculture. So, dekha gaya that in the among the labor force working in agriculture, more are women and less are men. Share of employment in industry in developed countries smaller than that of developing countries, of course. So this is what I have already told you that as you go from developing to developed, just as you are developing to developed, ki taraf ja rahe ho, you will notice that the number of people employed in agricultural sector they will decrease and the number of people employed in manufacturing they will increase right and then slowly we will see that people will go away from manufacturing also and number of people working in service will increase although in india it has been seen that this is the usual process that should be followed. Ki pehle aapko agriculture se manufacturing badhana chahiye. And after you have increased manufacturing, you should increase the service sector. But in India, what has been seen is that directly from agricultural sector, there was a movement towards the service sector without the development of manufacturing. With no development of manufacturing and better this came to be known as the problem of missing middle mane apne ek important sector ko kabhi develop hi nahi kiya and you just moved from agriculture to service right so this is called as the problem of missing middle okay so as developed countries switch from industry to service sector share of Industrial employment in Africa remains low for both men and women in most countries. This is again showing that how it is an underdeveloped country. Because they are there in the agricultural sector, right? Uh, in the industrial sector, the employment and the contribution to output has been low. Now, when we talk about the developing nations, there is one more 
very prominent feature and that feature is high dependence on the primary exports zyada dependent export par hai right so the money that you earn from export that is by exporting primary goods right so primary goods are what goods jo agricultural related hote hain uh then manufacturing goods industry related then tertiary goods service related so we have seen that majority of dependence whatever you are exporting jo bhi aap india ke bahar bhi bechoge whatever you are selling outside developing countries they are primary exports right they are exports of from the agricultural sector right on the other hand developed nation have more share of manufacturing goods in their exports to dekha gaya ki jo developed nation hai wo ye wala products ko zyada export kar rahe hain and remember manufacturing goods are ex more expensive so it means that they are exporting and earning more right and when we talk about primary goods right primary goods are always less expensive so you are exporting cheaper goods right and you are purchasing manufacturing goods from developed country the developing country it is importing manufacturing goods from developed country wo developed country se bahar ki country se machines mangwata hai aur bahar sirf dal aata chini coffee chai ye sab bechta hai ye cheeze comparatively sasti hai to aap jo bech rahe ho what you are selling exports they are less valued but what you are buying machines they are heavy heavy machines they are heavy priced hai na so the developed country they are exporting machines they are exporting capital goods they are exporting manufacturing goods whereas the developing nations they are still exporting the primary goods again an important feature to differentiate between developed and developing country okay beta